from WNYT, Albany, in HD. News Channel 13, live at noon, begins right now. Welcome back. Seniors looking for a new Medicare plan or to enroll for the first time can start making their selection today. Open enrollment begins today and ends December 7th. Here with more on what the options are, Bob Hinckley from CDPHB. Thank you very much for being here with us. Thank you. And this is pretty complicated. You were mentioning, you know, they're getting stacks mm. of paperwork right. trying to break this all down. How many different options really are there? Well, there can be a number. Each each health plan probably has five or six different uh, uh, selections that a senior could make. So there's, and there's a number of health plans operating in the area. So there are a lot of choices. And the uh, open enrollment, as we mentioned, we mentioned begins today. What happens if they don't enroll before it closes on December 7th? Well, if, if they're if they've already turned 65 and they haven't chosen a plan, uh, when they do choose a plan, they will have to pay a penalty. Uh, most of the seniors who are making choices now are either in the traditional Medicare or they've already been with a Medicare Ad Advantage plan, and they're starting to shop to see if there's another opportunity out there for them. Are there some changes this year to the plans? Uh, yeah, there is. Uh, first of all, the Affordable Care Act has closed the donut hole, what people, the coverage gap in the prescription drug costs for seniors. Close that a little bit. Uh, there's some more uh, preventive screenings that are covered uh, in 2013. And there's uh, changes, as always, in premiums that seniors will have to pay. So with this all kind of being a little complicated, how does someone kind of break it down to choose the right plan for them? Uh, the seniors are actually really good at shopping, but here's, here's, here's the best advice I can give them. Look at your copays. Uh, check and make sure each health plan is is offering low copays. Uh, look, make sure your doctor is in the network, especially your primary care doctor. Make sure your hospital that that you like to use is in your network. All those things that help uh, help a senior choose the right fit for them. Also, premiums aren't everything. Your premium might have gone up $5, but your copays might have gone down, and the total cost of ownership of that plan might actually be reduced. With the information being sent home, is there some place that seniors can, can go and kind of sit down with someone like yourself to where they could learn more about this? E absolutely. They should. There's a number of opportunities they have. They can call their health plan or any of the health plans that are sending them information. At CDPHP, we have people on site ready to answer questions. They can call their local uh, office for the aging. They can help them as well. And uh, the federal government has the Medicare.gov site, which they can do some comparison shopping on. Okay, great. Well, hopefully all that help out there will will help them. Um, what happens if they don't make a selection and they were enrolled in a plan? Is it just going to roll over or you need to choose again? Uh, they need to choose again. Okay. They, they, they will uh, get notices from the plans about, their, about what option they already have and what changes are happening to that. They need to check that over carefully and then make their decision from there. Okay, again, open enrollment begins today, ends December 7th. Bob Hinckley from CDPHP, thank you very much for being thank here. Thank you.